a term to know in Shakespeare, which is going to come up in this act and then again um, later in the play, is malapropisms. Malapropisms refer to a misuse of language. So if, for example, you were talking about a little story, an anecdote, but you said that you were telling an antidote, you would be making a malapropism and using a similar but incorrect word. And the character Dogberry in this play, who is intended for comic relief, uses a lot of malapropisms. So be looking for those as you do the scene analyses later. Hero sends Margaret to tell Beatrice that Hero and Ursula are talking about her so that Beatrice will feel compelled to eavesdrop on their conversation. Meanwhile, Ursula compares their plan to fishing, in which her favorite part is seeing the fish greedily devour the treacherous bait, which in this case is their story about Benedict loving her. Beatrice hides in the bower to listen while Hero tells Ursula that Claudio and Don Pedro have informed her that Benedict is in love with Beatrice. Hero insists everyone knows Beatrice is too proud to listen to him and would only break his heart with her jokes. Therefore, Hero would rather let poor Benedict waste away silently from love than expose him to Beatrice's scorn. Ursula replies by flattering Beatrice. Hero must be wrong because surely Beatrice is too clever to reject him. He is, after all, one of the cleverest and handsomest men in Italy. Hero agrees and they leave so Hero can try on her wedding dress. They know they have caught her. She is left to process this information, and like Benedict, Beatrice swiftly realizes she can requite him. In two, Don Pedro, Claudio, and Leonardo begin to tease Benedict about his decision never to marry. Benedict announces that he has changed, and the others have noticed he is quieter. They say he must be in love and tease him, but Benedict is too deep in thought to respond. He leaves to speak with Leonardo. As soon as they're alone, Don John enters and tells them he wants to protect Don Pedro's reputation and save Claudio from a bad marriage to Hero, who he says is cheating on Claudio. They are shocked, but Don John says he can prove it to them if they will walk with him outside her window tonight to see her with another man. Claudio, wary and paranoid, decides he will shame her during the wedding if this is true. In a street outside Leonardo's house, the town policemen of Messina, called The Watch, gather to discuss their duties for the night. Dogberry, the head constable, and Verges, his deputy, command and govern them. They are well-intentioned and take their job seriously, but they are also ridiculous. Dogberry is a master of malapropisms, which means he always gets his words just slightly wrong. Dogberry and Verges make one of the men their constable of the watch for the night and orders him to keep everything silent through the town since the wedding is tomorrow. Baraccio and Conrad arrive and unwittingly stand within hearing distance of the night watch, who overhear their conversation, while Baraccio tells Conrad that he earned a thousand ducats from Don John that night for wooing Margaret in Hero's room and calling her hero as Don John led his party past the window. The two are arrested for villainy. In scene four, Margaret helps Hero prepare for her wedding day. Margaret mentions to Beatrice that Benedict seems to now be in love and implies that perhaps Beatrice will someday decide to fall in love as much as Benedict has. Ursula interrupts them and informs Hero that all the men are gathered to take her to the church for the wedding. Dogberry and Virgis arrive to tell Leonardo that two suspicious men were arrested the night before. He asks Leonardo to examine the men himself, but since it is the day of the wedding, Leonardo refuses and orders Dogberry to conduct the examination himself. Dogberry instructs Virgis to bring one of his men who knows how to write so they can record the entire thing and bring it to Leonardo. Here are some of the ways we see our themes of deception, noting, and star-crossed lovers in Act 3. First, Hero and Ursula cause Beatrice to believe that Benedict has been talking to his friends about how much he loves her. This is deception that is intended to yield positive results because they want her to be honest about how she feels for Benedict and doesn't believe that she will do that unless she first believes there's no risk in that because he feels the same way. That said, they're deceiving her because he has not been talking about how much he loves her. Remember that noting has to do with both reputation and eavesdropping. And of course, there's lots of eavesdropping throughout the whole play. So in scene one, we see Beatrice eavesdrop on Hero and Ursula. And then later in this act, we see the night watch over here, Baraccio and Conrad talking about what Baraccio did meeting with Margaret in Hero's window. 
and it's because the Night Watch overhears this that this evil plot is unveiled. Lastly, we see the theme of star-crossed lovers as the evil plot is enacted by Don John and Baraccio to break up Claudio and Hero. It has the intended effect that Claudio believes Hero is cheating on him, and Don Pedro vows to support him 